Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back after an excruciatingly long time to Gary's Mod. Now today, I have some very special, special vehicles I want to show you. First of all, boom. Look at this. Look at this. This is the shuttlecraft from the Enterprise E, a state-of-the-art design equipped with all kinds of fun phasers and photon torpedoes, and you can fly this in Gary's Mod. Yes, you can fly this. I will have the link to this in the description down below. Now, uh, this is insanely cool. Let me go in. You can see there is a toggle button here. You can toggle the, uh, let me bring this back up. You can toggle the ramp up and down. I had to get my crosshairs up. Let me do that again. Come on. It's a little finicky. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, we go in. We have the toggle button here. Eh, there we go. Got it. Now we can go through these doors, which aren't really here. They're just images of doors. Um, anyway, we go in. Look, boom. Transporter room. Now, apparently, you can transport with this, but I have no idea how to do that, so I haven't done it. Anyway, we turn to our, our right side of the ship here. Look, shield. You can toggle the shield off and on. Now, apparently, there is a shielding effect that shows up when you shoot this, but I haven't been able to get that to work. Although, uh, the shield does work and then it, it, it blocks damage out of the hull screen at 99% because I bumped something earlier. Uh, look, look at this thing. Fully furnished interior. Look at that. Isn't this one of the coolest things you've ever seen in Gary's Mod? For those of you who don't know, Gary's Mod started out as a Half-Life 2 mod that eventually became its own game. Uh, it is on Steam. If you guys want it, the link to it will be in the description. It is not free, so just keep in mind of that. However, uh, you can download this from the Steam Workshop, this this uh, ship here, and that is free. Uh, you can just uh, download that if you have the game. You can subscribe to it. Um, so, yeah... I will credit the uh, creator of the mod, or not really mod, but workshop add-on in the description. I will also have the link to this add-on, because I can't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head right now, but it is so cool. Anyways, you don't want me to just walk around in this, you want me to actually sit down. So, let's sit down. Now, when you fly this, you are in third person, but if we move out, okay, R lets you toggle the uh, shields off and on, shift, uh, or, sorry, control is down, space is up, look at this. Phasers actually fire. They're not very loud, but they do work. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can, uh, let me increase my game capture volume. There we go. And look at this. Boom. Torpedoes. We have torpedoes. That is so cool. Actually, actually, I probably shouldn't increase that by that much. I'll put it at, let's put it at 30%. There we go. I love how I adjust my recording settings while I'm recording. Very professional. Now, we are now out of torpedoes. They will slowly reload, but this is not the only cool thing. Let's uh, drive around a little bit, and let's go to our actual destination. This is what I actually want to show you guys. Look at this. The Enterprise and the Defiant. A different creator, I believe. This is a totally different guy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> this other guy has created fully functional starships. He's created the Defiant. He's created the Enterprise. I don't know what else he's working on. Uh, their interiors aren't completely fully furnished, uh, especially on the Enterprise, but they look really cool. Now, watch this. You ready? You ready for this? Watch this. These things have shields. Look at that! They have, isn't that the coolest effect you've ever seen? That is so cool to me. Wow, and of course the Defiant has it as well. Let's not run into that again. Think of- oh gosh, they exploded. I think I ran into them. But yeah, think of the battles you could have in Gary's Mod using these. Now, um, also, also, uh, let, let me actually Set myself down here. There is no engine off button. You just so they're sort of always on. I'll turn off the shields. Uh, let's actually let's make a noises. Uh, toggle this. There we go. Also, let's see if I can do. Ah, here we go. Type six shuttle. Next generation shuttle, guys. Here's a toggle. Oh, it's make things are making noises up there. Um, 
Weapons, empty hands. There we go. Okay. Well, oh, oh, yep. Oh, oh, there we go. Alrighty. Uh, toggle door. I said toggle door. I said toggle the. There, there. Yep. First time's the charm. Okay. Enter this. Now, this one does not have torpedoes. Also, its phasers are a little less powerful. But it's still a shuttlecraft. It is still cool. The shields are still holding on those. Don't worry, we'll get around to the uh, starships in just a second. I just want to show you guys these shuttles. These are cool. You can have dogfights with these. Oh, and, 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 and everything's gone. And it's all gone. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let, let, let's, let's try this. Respawn? Eh, eh, no, 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 we're just gonna... Okay. Technical difficulties, we will, we'll be back in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have returned. We are back. Uh, we're gonna look at the Defiant first, just because just I like the Enterprise the most, and so I'm gonna save it for last. Although I like the lighting on the Defiant the best. Look at this. Look at these engines. They look super powerful. Look at that. You just imagine this thing going at, at warp speeds. Now, now the entrance is uh, very normal for a starship. We're gonna go up through the. Uh, I think it's the starboard nacelle. No, no. It's. Uh, I'm looking for a hole in the bottom of the ship that exists come on I know it's there I always have trouble finding it though so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheat I'm not gonna just no clip inside here, here it is here it is okay it's not in the cell it's right here there we go now this has a fully furnished bridge of course this is not to scale because the whole ship is bridge but look at this you can stand around in here now when you're flying it it's also gonna be in third person but look there's 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 doors that lead to nowhere, but if I hit E on them, I enter the ship, and look at that. Boom. We're in the Defiant. Also, check out this feature, guys. We can cloak. That's right, the Defiant cloaks. Although, I can't really see where it's going, but it does cloak. But now, let's actually test out the weapons, shall we? And yes, it does have the pulse phasers. Everyone stand back. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Stop. Just stop moving. Gonna try to go back. Okay, everyone. Brace yourselves. Look at that. Look at that. You could take out any opposing force with this thing. It's ridiculously powerful. Uh, just so I'm not kidding, I'm gonna fire on the Enterprise here. Poof. There we go. Just destroyed the Enterprise. With just a few shots from this. Now, the thing I like about the Defiant uh, add-on here is that it its phasers are decently accurate. I mean, you fire, the phasers go just a little bit below your crosshair, and it's pretty consistent. Now, you'll find it's different in the Enterprise. Those are a little more difficult. Those are made more made for like firing on uh, large areas versus pinpoint targets. Also, the torpedoes go roughly where you're aiming as well. Look at that. Boom. We would have just taken out whoever was in that compound. Also, um, the, the phasers follow the crosshair. That's pretty cool. Now, now for the the cool part, guys, you ready to go to warp speeds? Because I, I know that I am. Now, this is still a work in progress, I believe, but it does work to a, a point. Warp drive engaged. Boom. We are now at warp. Look at that. Now, I've tried this in, in, in multiplayer, and it looks really weird from the ground seeing this thing warping, because it's not actually moving, it's just standing still. But it looks so darn cool. Look at that. Ah, Star Trek in Gary's Mod. We've seen Star Trek maps before, but we've never seen actual working starships, so this is really cool. And look, we're out of warp, we're in the same spot we were, but it's so cool. I love the whole red alert thing. I gotta be careful not to shoot yourself, though. If you go too low to the ground and launch torpedoes, whoo, it's a bit, you have problems. Now, let's, uh, let's, what the heck? Okay, okay, I thought this was like a, a sick bay table or something for a second. I was really confused, but no, that's just part of the bridge. Okay, let's go back, uh, jump out the belly of the craft, as they do all the time in Star Trek, because that's exactly how it works. Um, and let's check out the Enterprise. The Enterprise is, it, it's, it's my favorite thing. It, it, I think it's the first one he made, and it is my favorite ship out of the whole group. It's, it's small, okay. The entrance is right at the base of the neck here. As you can see, no furnishings, but that's completely fine. Because take a look at this. It's just so darn cool. It's so darn cool. And look at look at the look at the, the, the phasers. Boom. 
Boom. We're shooting it. See if I can we uh, we can get torpedoes. Oh, a few of them hit. Now the phasers are most accurate when you're uh, firing b below. Oh, I think we actually took out their shields, and we completely missed with those torpedoes. That was nice. Let's try that again, shall we? There's also missed. It's it's it, it's difficult. There we go. Now. As you can see, the Defiant is more powerful than this, and it should be. It's a more advanced starship. It's made for combat. Now, the thing about the Enterprise, that it's the one thing I don't quite care for, is the way that the phasers fire. Look at this. You fire at a target, okay? It alternates between uh, the four firing positions. There's two beneath the saucer, and there's two above the saucer. I apologize if it's a little loud, and uh, you're having difficulty hearing me. I really don't know what it's going to sound like until I check the video. Um, but it's a little difficult to actually hit targets, because uh, the way the phasers alternate... Um, if you're trying to aim a specific phaser, the other three are off target. If you're trying to aim the whole group, you're going to probably miss whatever's in the, in the center. So you just have to sort of blanket the area with phaser fire. And uh, But it looks cool. It looks so darn cool. Doesn't it look cool now? This also has a warp drive. Let's uh, prepare to warp. We need to have a clear shot to the edge of the map. Come on. Warp drive enabled. You hear the music? And punch it. Come on, punch it, Sulu. There we go. Boom. And look at that. We are now at what you can see. The nacelles are stretching. Look at that. That is so cool. I, I am nerding out, guys. My my nerd levels are about to hit that threshold where it becomes dangerous. Um, it's so neat. So, yeah. The links to these will be in the description down below. Now, how about we actually try to blow something up with this? Let's, uh, let me, let me see what we got. I'll be right back. All right, guys, now just to show you how powerful the weapons on this are. There's a mini zombie apocalypse down there. All those little red dots are actually zombies. We're going to fly over, fire the phasers, blanket the area. Look at that. Boom. Pulse phasers. We've got a whole bunch of zombies. Now let's uh, see if we can uh, open fire with the torpedo launchers. And firing. Boom. The whole area is gone. So th th that's the power of the torpedoes with this uh, add-on. Extremely good. There's a couple more wiping out. Now, we're not going to be able to get all of them because, like I said, uh, hitting them with precision ac accuracy is difficult with the way the phasers are uh, positioned. They don't have that much uh, surrounding splash damage around them, but it's still really cool. This is by far my favorite thing. I think we actually did get them all. Yeah, this is my favorite add-on, I think, in Gary's mod. So, and that's what I love about Gary's mod. It can really turn into whatever the heck you want it to be. There's so many add-ons, so many modifications to it. You really can create your own game from it. Um, do all sorts of scenarios. There's apocalypse scenarios. You can download, like, weather modifications. You can make tornadoes. There's different vehicles, helicopters, tanks, regular aircraft, cars. Now we have starships. Uh, a whole bunch of Star Wars things out there, too. Although I'm more of a Star Trek fan myself. So yeah, that is the Enterprise, the Defiant, and the two. Oh gosh, I almost died. Um, and the, let's just jump out the bridge. Now there actually is glass in there, so you can't actually just walk right out. Although, I just want to point attention to this, this model. This is a really great model. It's actually made, I think, by a different designer. The guy in the mod just uh, used this Starship model that was already existing. And it looks great. I love that he combined the two of them. Look at that. Even the warp nacelles. The, the, the Boussard collectors and the warp engines, they, they're rotating like they do in the show. Or in this case, the, the movie. This is the 2009 movie Enterprise, as you already know. Um, I'm sure you could tell. And actually, I like this version of the Enterprise more than the uh, Enterprise A from uh, Star Trek Beyond. It's just, uh, I, I like the way the nacelles look. The ones on the new one just look a little bit, I don't know. Something about them just doesn't quite feel right. Uh, so I really like this design. Even though it gets a lot of flack from... Um, a lot of Star Trek fans, the new movies. I love this design. It's so cool. It's very aerodynamic looking, even though that shouldn't really affect anything in space. It just it just looks neat. So, uh, anything else that I wanted? Oh, by the way, uh, if you were warning, yes, I am sideways. It's one glitch I have encountered. If I exit the ship and I am sideways, uh, like if the ship is tilted, then I will exit with my camera, my, my view angle being tilted. And the only way to do that, I think, is to... Um, 
uh, eliminate my character and restart. So yeah, I'll be right back in just a quick moment. Okay, I am back. Everything is, is straightened out. The carnage. All these zombies are literally chopped in two. I think I heard one, though. Did I? Oh, there's one zombie somewhere. I'm not going to worry about it. Anything else I wanted to show you guys? I don't think so. I think that's about it. Uh, actually, I think I will, though. I will grab a, a, a camera over here. I will... Uh, let's see. Target that. And I think... Yeah, okay. Watch this, guys. Let's even get some cool scenes with this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And away we go. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video of Gary's Ma using those uh, Star Trek creations and vehicles. I would like to say the, the designers of those add-ons uh, really outdid themselves there. I love that people are trying to bring Star Trek in the Gary's Month, something you don't see too often because it's not as popular as some of the other franchises, and there really needs to be more of it, and these guys have done a wonderful job. So I will have the links to uh, both the game Gary's Mod and these add-ons in the description down below. Uh, please go check them out if you're interested. They really are neat. You can do lots of cool things, especially multiplayer with friends. I've tried that. Uh, they're, they're pretty awesome. So... If you guys enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave the video a like, and if you are not subscribed and you want to see more Gary's Mod, well, there might be more in the future. I don't play it that often, but if something else cool pops up, I'll try my best to include it in a video, so please subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. If for whatever reason you did not like the video, I do apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know how I can better improve the next videos that I make, so then hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy them. And yeah, Star Trek... Starships and Gary's Mod. By far the coolest thing I've ever seen. I hope there are more of them being produced in the future. I really enjoyed making this video. And I think that's all I have to say. So, as always, I am Foxtrot Delta. I hope you guys are having a great day. And I will see you next time. <laughs>